we have a contour integral that we have to integrate where d is the top half of the unit circle from 1 to negative 1. So the formula to integrate a contour integral, say f of z dz over, say, a contour d is equal to the definite integral from a to b of f of w of t times w prime of t dt. And w of t here is a parametrization of your contour. So this parametrizes d. So I'll just put parametrizes d. Okay. Uh, over, over the interval a, b. Okay. So a is your lower limit of integration and b is your upper limit of integration. So in this problem, the contour is the top half of the unit circle from 1 to negative 1. So if we draw that up here, so here's 1 and here's negative 1. So it looks like it's going this way. It's a counterclockwise orientation. So the orientation uh, is indeed positive. So we know we can parametrize the unit circle with the function w of t equals e to the i t. However, we want to stop halfway, so uh, t here uh, will be in the interval uh, 0 pi. We only want to go halfway around uh, the unit circle. All right, good times. So now uh, we have to work out this formula. So w prime is pretty easy. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Here you get e to the i t times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is i t. So its derivative is i. So this is equal to i e to the i t. All right, and then uh, f of uh, w of t, I'll do it up here. That's f of e to the i t. That's simply just replacing z with e to the i t. So it'll be 1 over e to the i t squared. All right, let's go ahead and work this out. So this is the contour, inter contour integral over d of 1 over z squared dz. And that's equal to the definite integral from 0 to pi. Right? a is 0 and b is pi. And we know that this piece here, we worked out up here. It's 1 over e to the i t quantity squared times w prime, which we know is i e to the i t. We worked that out uh, over here, dt. Let's keep going. So it looks like uh, one of the e to the i t's cancels. So we have uh, i, I'll pull out the i, definite integral from 0 to pi. And we're left with 1 over e to the i t dt. So this is equal to i. Then we have the definite integral from 0 to pi. You can bring this upstairs, and uh, it becomes e to the negative i t dt. You can make a simple u substitution to integrate this, but the trick is you just divide by the negative i, you divide by the constant. So it's i over negative i e to the negative i t, and we're going from 0 to pi. Just think back to like calculus. If you had like e to the 2x dx, when you integrate this you would just get e to the 2x over 2, right, plus a constant. You should just divide by the constant. So it's not any different here. Um, negative i is a constant. This is equal to negative 1 times. And then we have e to the negative uh, i t. And we're going from 0 to pi. All right, good stuff. So this is equal to negative 1 times. So here we have e to the negative i pi, plugging in pi first. Subtracting and um, plugging in 0, so we get e to the 0. Okay, This is equal to negative 1 times. Let's think about uh, what e to the negative i pi is. So uh, e to the negative i pi, okay, that's going to be a cosine of negative pi plus i sine of negative pi using Euler's formula. Cosine of negative pi is the same as cosine of pi, it's negative 1. And then sine of negative pi is 0, so this is just negative 1. So this is negative 1. e to the 0 is 1, so negative 1. 
So we end up with negative 1 times negative 2, and we end up with the answer of 2. That's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world.